great to say hello. Can you hear? Good evening, teacher. Great evening, everyone. I think we have a good sound, huh? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. How's it going? Thank you for the punctuality. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome, teacher. Welcome to one more session. I'm very excited to see everyone connecting on time. And we had a homework about the subordinated uh, clause, right? The subordinated conjunctions. I was asking you for examples using since in one additional um, example, right? With one of the other words we have. So do we have any volunteers for those examples? Do we have any volunteers? Go ahead. Uh, okay, since I have a child, since, since I have children, mm -hmm. my day is very busy and funny. Since you have children, your day is very busy and funny. Funny. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Yes, yes, yes. Very logical example. Thank you, Oscar. Do you have something else? You're, you're welcome. Do you have the additional one or that's yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the, the other one is, since, since I I get married, I I don't have enough, enough money. <laughs> hey, since you got married, you don't have enough money. Okay, that also makes a lot of sense. Did you use a different word rather than since? Yes, uh, for example, as after I have 20, 30 years, I can play soccer too much. Okay, we're going to use turned. Turn, okay. After I turn, what, 30? 30 years Oh, You can't play soccer very much? Yes. Why? What, 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 do, you, what do you feel? You feel more my exhausting. Physical, my physical. And we need, I need practice. Your, your resistance, huh? Your resistance. Yes. yes. Thank you, Oscar. Next volunteer, go ahead. Raise your virtual hand. You sure? Wait, we have Josephette. Raise your virtual hand. Let's go with Josie first and then the next participant. Go ahead, Josie. Okay. Uh, the first is since she got a promotion, she hasn't got time to go out and have fun. Mm. And the other is before I go to the bed, I brush my teeth. Okay, before I go to bed, before I go to bed, you brush your teeth. Something else, Miss Miranda? Yeah, um, until she hasn't finished her homework, her mother doesn't allow her to go out. Wow, amazing, amazing. Congrats, no mistake, no observation. No corrections. Something else? No, that's all. That's all. Good enough. Good deal. Pat on your back. Pat on your back for you. Let's go with ba Brian. 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 Go ahead, Brian. Teacher, I, I have a question, first of all. Okay, uh, go ahead. I don't know if uh, there is some problem because I did a paragraph with that sentence. Oh, <laughs> that's even better. That's even okay. better. Can you share that? Okay. Um, when I was uh, when I was fifteen years old, I learned how to cook many things. After I cooked with my great grandfather, because he told me you should cook something and we could prepare it together. And so before he was starving, and he was dancing while we prepared the lunch, and I said to him. Hey, Dad, we should cook again. And he answered me, uh, whenever you want. And I cooked since that day. Wow, amazing story. Using subordinating clauses. No yes. correction, no observation, Brian. Well done. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for doing your best. Someone else? Someone else, people? 
any of the volunteers? Who's that? Byron. Oh, okay, Mr. Avelar, go ahead. We have been waiting for you since 10 o'clock. Correct. Call me before you arrive. Correct. Call me before you arrive. Something else? It was quite dark when I got home. It was quite dark when? I got home. When I got home. Where is the subordinated uh, conjunction there? It's when. When. Okay, there's a lot of noise. Okay, I appreciate it, uh, Mr. Avelar. Good job. Somebody else. Somebody else has some homework. Well, live after lunch. Somebody else has a homework for us. Nobody else? No. All right. If we don't have more homework, then let's call attendance. Let's call attendance real quick. Let's see. Here it goes. Here it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Okay, do we have Ana Julia Mayorga Rodriguez with us? No? Okay. Byron. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Okay. Um, Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Are you here, teacher? All right, Carlos. Thank you. Claudia Vitris Ramos de Mos. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Welcome. Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. Present teacher. Great. Um, let me see. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia Torres. <clears throat> Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Present. All right. Emma Jamilet Correa Madrid. Present. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Josibet Abigail Miranda Chavez. Here, teacher. Iris Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Present, teacher. All right, Joel Eulises Mejibar Mendoza. Present teacher. Cacho Josué, I mean Joel, and then Josué Neftali Cibrian Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Canon Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Manuel Varillas, Manuel Alejandro Varillas Arce. I'm here, teacher. All right, Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman de Santos. Present teacher. All right, Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdames. Here. Nelson Rolando Melgar. Present teacher. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Present teacher. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Present teacher. Okay, Patricia Veronica Salazar de Morales. René David Calderón Peñate. Present teacher. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. I'm here, teacher. Sara Maria Molina Cuvias. I'm here, teacher. All right, and Saul Arnulfo Menjivar Crespin. Great. Needless to say, needless to ask you, let's go ahead and share our screen. Let's get into business. Wait, I have a chat. Oh, Karen Elizabeth Garcia, I got you, Karen, no problem. Let me share now my screen. We go with the next topic. I hope you guys are working on the platform. Are you working on your platform? Okay.
are you working on your platform from Inglés Corporativo? Yes or no? No. Yes. Yes, I work. Yes. Oh. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. It is highly important that you comply with that requirement that you need to work on your platform. Remember, there is a homework daily on your platform. It's really important you keep up with it, okay? Let's go with okay. today's topic. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, People walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Okay, let's listen to something else that has changed within that neighborhood. Pay attention. Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the ten? Okay, did you get what also has changed in that neighborhood? The old bookstore is now a pizzeria. The what? The old bookstore. Correct. The old bookstore is not there anymore. Now, what is there instead? It's a it pizza. is a pizzeria. A pizzeria. <laughs> so no longer books, but pizza now, huh? So we're pretty much talking about changes. Francis? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. And we're going to listen to it one last time. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Okay, let's identify the tenses that they use. Pay attention. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. Okay, this neighborhood sure has changed. What tense is that? This neighborhood sure has changed. What kind of tense is that? Somebody knows? Simple pass. Simple pass. You sure? Models. Modules. And present perfect. Present perfect. Bing, 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 bingo. That's present perfect. Uh, here we are using the neighborhood, this neighborhood as the subject, has as the auxiliary, and changed is the past participle verb to comply with the formula. Let's go to the next tense. No, a few years ago, not many people lived here, but the... Okay, a few years ago, not many people lived here. What kind of tense is that? Simple past. Simple, simple past, past. Or, or past simple is the same. Yes. Can you identify the past simple verb? 
Lived. 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 Excellent. Lived. What about that pronunciation with D? D, D, lived. 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 Sweet. Lived. Let's move on. Population is growing so fast these days. But the population is growing so fast these days. What kind of tense is that? Present continuous. Wow, <laughs> that's very knowledgeable. Yes. Present continuous. Good job. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. It seems like there's a construction site on every corner. What kind of tense is it? Could you repeat again? Present. Present simple. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Yes, it seems. Third person. It seems like. Oh, There's okay. a construction site on every corner. Nice job. Let's move on. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? What tense is that? Past, past, past tense. Past tense. Simple past. Past simple. Yes, yes, yes. I have very smart students in this group. Wow. Next. Thank you. <laughs> now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah. Now it's a multiplex cinema. What tense is it? Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Simple That's present. a piece of cake. Yeah. And they're tearing down our high school. And they are tearing down. And they are tearing down our high school. What tense is that? Present continuous. Present continuous. Present continuous. Although continuous. I only hear the same students, I have more than 20 students. What about the other students? Uh, it's important for everybody to have active participation, not only two, three, or five students. I expect participation from all my students, please. So if you know, try to say it. If you know, try to say it. The next one. They're going to build a shopping mall soon. Ooh. They're going to they're going to build a shopping mall soon. What tense is that? Future. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Future. They're going to. Yes, sir. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's big. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. Simple fu future. future. It's still future. future. Yes, future. definitely. Let's continue. Because everyone has a car. 50. Yeah, that's because everyone has a car. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Back to basics. Years ago, people walked everywhere. Now, 50 years ago, people, people walked everywhere simple pass. pass simple pass simple pass simple pass and oh. nowadays they drive nice job guys nowadays, i'm amazed they drive listen you to are the in this level for one reason the right there's a reason why you're here what else has changed in their neighborhood well what about that old bookstore do you know if it's still there no it's not now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. <laughs> Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us. So you yeah, this is another level, right? Because we're combining every single tense that we know, left and right, <laughs> from simple present till future, right? Present continuous, simple past, future with will, future with going to. Perhaps we could use module verbs, present perfect, all the way, guys. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe events you in contrast between the past, present, and future. This is this is where you play with almost all the tenses that you know already. And this is intermediate for sure. Let's talk about time contrast. Let's watch this out.
Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future, will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and <clears throat> Okay, okay, okay. So before we move on, I want to um, dig deeper here with the time expressions. Let me see. Here we go. Uh, it should be around here that you may use with each tense. <clears throat> past expression. Okay, let's talk about past. More time expressions. We have at that time, at that time, uh, you could say in the past, as you know, you could say then, as a sequence word. What else, what other time expressions that you know from the past? Can you brainstorm, please? Can you brainstorm right now? Before Hello? a few before. years ago, before. before, before, yes, yes, before qualifies. You said a few years ago, right? A few years ago, that's correct. Science, too. What science since 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 two since could be since could be, yeah, since what else. Expressions from the past. Yesterday. Yesterday, of course. What else? Last, last month. month. Last. That magic word. Last month. Last week. Last year. Last week. Last Saturday. Night. Yes, last, last night. night. Last time. Two years ago. Last time. Two years ago. Excellent. Last decade. Last century. Before. Before. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently. Okay. 
For instance, we have currently, we have in the meantime. Oh, I like that one. In the meantime, yeah. And we also have now. Right now. Right now, excellent. What in else? In this moment. In this moment. Actually. Actually, you can say currently. Actually, currently. it's like to today. clarify something. Mm -hmm. Today, yes. What else? At the moment. At the moment. Now. Now? Well, now is there. Just right now. now. Days. These days. These, These days. days. These days. Okay. There was another one. Nowadays. Now? Nowadays. Nowadays. Okay. Nowadays. Today, yeah, today, of course. Right As now. We, right now, right now is correct. It's correct. Every day. Every day, yes, every day. That's correct. Every other day. <laughs> every other day. <laughs> okay. From time to time, yeah, from time to time. Okay. Nice job. Let's go with the future. In the meantime, now, future expressions in the next couple of years. Look at that. We have in the next couple of years, next, or in the near future. Okay, let's brainstorm expressions for the future. Time expressions. Go. After. After. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. What? Tom. Soon? Next week. Soon. Next week. Next month. Next Coming. month. Next Sorry? Year. One day after One day. tomorrow. <laughs> One day Later. after tomorrow. Later. Yes. Coming, teacher? This coming, for example, this coming Saturday. Soon. Coming up. Coming up or coming soon. This Friday. This Friday. This coming Friday. This coming Friday. This coming Friday. Mm. I can say, can I say, can I say in um, in June, for example? Yes. In August. Yes. In twenty three. In twenty twenty four. In 2024, outstanding. All right, now let's go to some Next, grammar. In the near questions related to past, present, and future. <clears throat> let's see. So right here, we just need to make sure we use the correct time expression and we use the correct verb tense, right? A few years ago, not many people lived here. That's like a sort of an, an analysis that you're making from years ago in your neighborhood. People used to shop. People used to pass expression um, at grocery stores. Time expression. 50 years ago, people, people walked yeah. everywhere. So it's important to choose the correct time expression. If, if, you, if you talk about yourself, if you talk about your neighborhood, what could you say? Huh? If you talk about your English level from the past, for example, what could you say? And a few years ago, I don't have a knowledge about the language or the English language. Okay, you're just missing something on the auxiliary because remember that the auxiliary yeah. from the past is did and didn't. Uh, a few years ago, not many people in El Salvador spoke English. Excellent, excellent. You just need to polish your, your pronunciation here on the negation word, okay? The pronunciation is not. Not. Not, not many people. Uh-huh. Hey, it's true. 
that's a very good example, by the way. A few years ago, not many people in El Salvador spoke English. Now it's different. The English population is growing on a daily basis. Uh, can you give more examples in simple past, though? Come on, come on, come on, participation. For example, in 20, in 2001, in 2001, I didn't speak English very well. I went to the party yesterday. Oh, nice, nice. So you had a good time. Excellent. And 50 years ago, cars uh, were too expensive. Okay, okay. A couple, a couple of years ago. Uh, okay, okay. I a get couple, uh-huh. Nice. I want to say, who has another example? What about, what about this? What about this? Um, a few years ago, people in El Salvador didn't have much safety. Or security. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's true. Mm -hmm. I am learning English before this class. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, let's move into present. Let's move into present. In the present, remember, we need oh, okay. to use the time expressions for the present, right? And then you can choose whether you use a uh, simple present tense. Watch your audio. Watch your audio. Who's that? Who's that? Okay. Uh, you need to choose whether you use a um, present continuous example or just simple present. Other thing to remember is that if you're using third person, you got to modify the verb into third person. Mm -hmm. So um, what can you say about the present? Um, she goes out with her, her boyfriend every day. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Today, many people shop at the internet. Okay, today many people shop um, in the internet. On the internet, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. It's true, now, it's true. Now I am play soccer. Playing. Playing. Uh-huh. No, but right now you are you are having an English class, so you better say that in simple present, like now so, I practice soccer uh, every Sunday, for example. Every day. Every day. Or every, every day. day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Describing it, describing it as a routine, as a sort of a daily routine, I think a situation that happens every so often. Jess, do you have a question? This day many people have have cars <laughs> it's true it's true nowadays families in el salvador have more than one car that's but why yes, there is but that's they why don't there is pay traffic the bills. <laughs> because the traffic is terrible terrible they learning, yeah they are learning english by now that's true. They are learning English right now. Fabulous. In these days, many people are getting to study English at academies, at Insafor, everywhere. Yes? In this week, many people have internet. That's true. That's true. Uh, most of the people now have oh, access to internet. Uh, have a, tele, a cell phone. Many people have a cell phone these days. Don't forget the time expression. These okay, days, okay, okay. nowadays, currently. Currently, I work Mondays to Fridays. 
Yeah. I work from Mondays to Fridays. And we have class uh, from Monday to, to Thursday. To Thursday, uh, technically, because uh, <laughs> this week we're going to have Friday class also. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, exceptions. Let me see. Let me see. What else? We, what else? We need another day off. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go over future. Let's go over future. For future, don't forget again the time expressions for the future in the beginning or at the end, whatever you feel more comfortable with. And um, the type of future you want to use. Remember that for talking about the future, you have a variety of options. Uh, you can use will, you can use want, you can use going to, not going to, you can even use the present continuous for the future, and you could use the uh, module verbs to talk about the future as well. Okay. I will do my homework. In the next year, I'm going to USA. Woohoo! The next year, okay, so just say next year. Next year, I'm going to the USA. Okay, teacher, thanks. Can you repeat? In the next year, I'm going to the USA. You just say your time expression, your time expression is next year. Okay? Okay, next, next year. Correct. Okay. Okay. okay, teacher, thanks. Pleasure. Next, please. Next. Tell me about uh, your plans. Tell me tomorrow, about your plans. Uh, to, tomorrow, I will take the children to a school very early. Okay, sounds like a very good plan. So in the next hour, you're going to go to bed, right? Perhaps. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow, continue, tomorrow, continue. Brainstorm. Tomorrow I am going to, to work. Perfect. Perfect. You will make some money tomorrow for sure. Next. I will drink. I will drink uh, water at another time. In another time. In, In another, another time. time. Okay. Future. Yeah, it's future still. Thank you. Can you try to use can you try to use module verbs for the future like in this example in 20 years the time marker the time mm. marker is very important when you use module verbs for the future go ahead in 20 in 20 years i could travel to another country excellent and in 5 years you could be a father of three children <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> possibly <laughs> All right, next, next, next example. Go ahead. In the next year, I am going to work. To. I am going to. Yes. I am going to work. To. I am going to work. Definitely. Okay, let's make that money. Yes. With the first paycheck, you will invite me to a lunch. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh -huh. uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I will I will get sick. For that reason, I won't be in on class. Ah, <laughs> you have something important to do tomorrow, you huh? yeah. <laughs> know. That sounds like an excuse. Instead. Okay. <laughs> nice participation, people. Nice participation. Now you have an exercise. You have an exercise to do. I want you to prepare your own examples. I want you to personalize these examples, okay? I'm gonna give you, what time is it? Let me see. I'm gonna give you, yeah, I'm gonna give you 10 minutes. I'm gonna give you 10 minutes so you can prepare examples for, for each expression, for each uh, beginning. And uh, we're going to compare your examples after those 10 minutes. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Right it. now, right now, prepare those examples in 10 minutes and then we will discuss using them. All right, go ahead.
Okay, I'm interested. I'm interested on getting everybody's uh, thoughts and, 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 and answers and outcome. I mean, I love <laughs> you participate, but I love everyone to participate. So I would like to hear more ladies. Uh, I would like to hear every student saying something. If you are shy, um, I suggest you to raise your virtual hand. Yeah, on the platform here, on the on the system, raise your virtual hand and I'm gonna give you a moment to participate. So let's start with the first um, way to let this be expressed is as a child, I used to, and if there is an additional question, guys, you can make that additional questions for practicing purposes. Virtual hands up, virtual hands up. Go ahead. Uh, as a child, I used to ride a bike. Oh yeah? Yes, teacher. Every day. Every excellent, day. excellent, excellent. Thank you. Somebody else? Sure. Okay, I have I have Brian. Let's go with Brian first. Okay, uh, as a kid, I used to play soccer on the street every day with my neighbors. Mm. And the next uh, five years ago, I was oh, I was I was at high school and nowadays I, I don't play soccer every day and next year I'm going to work in a call center in five years I'll I'll get my my own house and in 10 years uh, I might uh, my own business oh you just you just missed in the last one in 10 years I might might uh, I might my own business. I, but you're I missing might the have, verb. Have, have, yes. I might have my own business. I must, I must have my own business. All right. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let's go with Carlos Portillo. Let it go. As a shield, I used to take naps. Child, as a child, you used to child. take naps, okay? Not anymore, not anymore, Carlos? Yes. Oh, still, okay, continue. What about the rest, Carlos? What about the rest? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't have the it's rest? Not, not. Oh, okay, okay. No, okay. no, no. It's all right, let's go with Miss Perez. Go ahead, Miss Elvia. Good evening, and... Uh... As a child, I used to uh, went to a swimming class. I used to go. I, I used to go. I used to go to swimming classes, but I never learned to swim. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. That happens. <laughs> this is still part of the budget. Do, do you have more? Do you have more? Uh, only that. Okay, okay. Try to work on the rest. Um, keep raising your virtual hands. Keep raising your virtual hands. And if you, if you can give the whole uh, examples, that would be even better. Let's go with jo Joshua Cibrian. Uh, hey, uh, next, uh, next year, I'm going to, I'm going to travel to, to Europa. And as- Europe. Child, Europe, yeah. As a child, I used to uh, fight with uh, my outside the school. <laughs> with you the, used to fight with, with your classmates? Yes, uh, with a uh, bully. <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, in five years, uh, I will go to learn more English, I think. <laughs> okay. That's good. It is. Okay, it is. We yeah. never stop learning English. We never stop learning English. Hey, I don't see more more hands raised, so I'm gonna call big teams. Do I have more hands raised? How about Monica? Monica, Marisol, are you there? Yeah. 
Uh -huh. Go ahead. Okay. In, in five years, I will be bilingual. 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 In five years, I will be bilingual. Yep. Yep. Only that? Only that, yes. Anna? Okay, okay, okay. Prepare more examples. Prepare yeah. more examples. Do I have more examples? Is Arnulfo in the house? I haven't heard Arnulfo. What about Daisy? What about Elmer? Don't you have examples for me, guys? Teacher. Teacher. Who's that, Elmer? Who's that, Elmer? Okay, five okay. years ago, I didn't have a car. Congratulations. Thanks, teacher. And, All right. And then years, I might to have a new job. I might have. I might have. Correct. I might have a new job. Uh-huh. Something else? No more? Next year, I'm going to USA. I am going to visit. I am going to travel to the USA, okay? Okay, teacher. My pleasure. Let's see. Joshi. Go ahead, Joshi. Okay. Um... What you got? As a child, I used to watch cartoon. Five years ago, I was in high school. Nowadays, I go to university. Uh, next year, I'm going to, um, I think, USA. And five years, I'll work in my dream job. And in 10 years, I might- um, Get married. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, corrections, corrections. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Ego. 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 Uh, now, now, pronounce this nowadays. Pronounce the nowadays. S. Nowadays. nowadays. Pronounce the nowadays. S. And now, here, I'm going to. I'm going to, you, you still need one action, guys. You still need one action after I'm going to. You need a verb. I'm going to travel to the US. I am going to become a bilingual. I am going to be married. You need a verb after going to, okay? And that's all, that's all. Thank you, Joshi. Let's go with Natalie, Natalie Flores. I think we can finish with you, Natalie. In 10 years, I might be polyglot. Okay. Is that all? All right. Nowadays, I have a few friends. Nowadays, you have a few friends. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Teacher. Go ahead. Um, five, five year uh, I visited my friend in Mexico. Five years ago, I visited, yes, I, I visited did. my friend in Mexico. Homework, guys, tomorrow you have to chat me, chat me an example, an example using all of these expressions for tomorrow. Put it in the chat, okay? Put it in the chat for tomorrow. Let me call the attendance real quick. Has your life changed using the expression? You have a question? Okay. No, attendance real quick, guys. Thank you so much for tonight's participation. Can you, I can feel that. The, the homework? Can you put the, 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 the last the last slide? The last slide? Okay. Slide. Slide. So let me see. Okay, let me put the last the last one. You're gonna picture it. Yes, yes. Sure. I I send the, the slash uh, on the group. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're awesome. 
I have only awesome students. What's up with that, huh? Okay, let's call the attendance for the last time before I let you go. Let's see, Ana Julia Mayorga Rodriguez. Present teacher. Byron Rodriguez Avelar Aquino. Mr. Rafael, I am present. Oops, sorry, Byron Rafael, I apologize. Um, <laughs> Brian Eduardo. Present teacher. Medrano. I'm here, teacher. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present teacher. Thanks. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. Elvia Sofía Pérez Castaneda. Present. Emma Jamilet Corea Madrid. Present teacher. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Joshiva Abigail Miranda Chavez. Dear teacher. Iris Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Present teacher. Joel Ulysses Menjiver Mendoza. Present teacher. Josue Neftali Cibrian Hernandez. Present teacher. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Manuel Alejandro Varias Arce. Marbelli Jocelyn here, Aleman teacher. de Santos. Thank you, Manuel. Present teacher. Thank you, Marbelli. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. Natalie I'm Geraldine here, Flores Galdames. Thank you, Monica. Here. Thank you, Natalie. Nelson Rolando Melgar, are you there? Present teacher. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Present teacher. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Present teacher. Patricia Veronica Salazar de Morales. Missing in action. Rene David Calderon Peñate. Yes, I'm here. All right, Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. Present. Sara Maria Molina Cubias. Present teacher. And Saul Arnulfo Menjivar Crespin. Arnulfo is still with us. Guys, you deserve to have a lovely night. Let's keep practicing your English. Prepare interesting examples about you. Make it personal because it, to me, it's interesting to find uh, something that you used to do as a child, something, something that you are doing right now and something that you're planning for your future. So to me, it's interesting. Make it interesting. Make it personal. Chat the example. Put it in the chat tomorrow during business hours. And I'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. at this channel. All right? All right. right. See you tomorrow. I will Good get night. sick. See you tomorrow. You bye can't. Bye. Good night. You cannot. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. See you soon. Be safe. Sweet dreams. Goodbye. So long. It will be. <laughs> bye, teacher.